What are you doing, step bro? Welcome back to another episode of What's Glitching in the Kitchen. I'm your host, NWP, and we're back at it once again with another video. And as you guys should be aware, every day brings us one step closer to season 21. But looking at the future of Apex Legends, there isn't just rainbows and sunshine, as it looks like there is some detrimental stuff to talk about regarding legend specific items and what you can expect in the future, especially if you're a Newcastle main. But first, guys, if you enjoy that channel and you want to help me out in an absolutely massive way, then how about taking the time right now to like this video? If you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. The Cobalt Qatar will be the center focus of Season 21 and likely Season 22 with about four major events focused around it. However, we've had a ton of information regarding heirlooms, including new castles, which has yet to be released, but has been leaked for quite some time. However, in a more recently deleted tweet, Oz over on Twitter seemed to confirm that they had at least delayed, if not canceled, the release of this particular heirloom, while also letting us know that it was intended to be Chinese hook swords, very similar to what you would have seen Cabal carry in Mortal Kombat. Now at this point it is a situation where respawn is kind of slow when it comes to new items and whenever they put out something new they tend to focus on that fairly heavily and neglect other things. So it's very likely that for the next season or two we don't get any of the individual legend heirlooms. However, Looking at how long the game has been alive and how well the heirlooms have been selling for those last five years, I would argue that uh, they're just delaying the inevitable and any work that has been done on an heirloom will inevitably make it to the game in one way or another. So whether or not it actually gets released as Newcastle's heirloom or a brand new universal item is definitely going to be up to whether or not they had a lot of animations already created specifically for Newcastle that only will function with that specific character. Now, if they have a ton of those done, then you can almost rest assured that Newcastle will be getting an heirloom that is based upon him. However, some of the ideas that I've actually heard being tossed around in the rumor mill from the developers themselves is the idea of taking the new Universal heirloom approach and while not making an heirloom specifically for a legend, the heirloom that is released will be based upon a legend. So you will not necessarily have to get locked into using Mad Maggie's upcoming heirloom for Mad Maggie, but rather for any legend you want while having a direct tie-in and lore with Mad Maggie herself, as well as Newcastle and other legends. We also do know that there are still several recolors that are headed to the game as well and how they're going to release them is up for debate now obviously crypto had his heirloom snuck into the mythic store and we literally had octanes on display in front of us for quite some time in game but at this point it is kind of a real discussion as to how respawn intends to release heirlooms over the next few seasons and i'd expect the chances are that some of them get released directly to the mythic store and some of them get released in some type of lore based event as was expected to happen with the bloodhound recolor and considering bloodhound has a very strong tie to world's edge and just the overall theme of the recolor being the lava from world's edge would make sense that they would use that particular idea and use a thematic event however Looking at what's been happening over the last few seasons, it's very possible that the recolors just start popping up and there's no rhyme or reason to when or why. So keep your ears and eyes open as you're more likely to find out about the heirloom recolors from channels like mine, Lord and Smash, and Hyper Mist, as well as many others than you will when it comes to respawn giving proper notifications of upcoming content. But with that being said, there's still the fact that we know universal heirloom items are coming over the next two seasons at minimum. I would almost believe that we will likely see something new at the end of season 22. However, 
just looking at what is already released for the Cobalt Qatar in terms of leaks, we can see straight up right there that there is a ton of options that Respawn already has in mind and is set to release for this item. With the UI being that in-depth already, you already know that they have got a ton of work into this item and they are going to be pushing it very heavily considering when you look at the buster sword and how it actually sold you could argue that it's probably economically the best market idea that they can run with when ea is breathing down their throats about not meeting revenue standards that they've been meeting for the past four years prior so while we've had great years in apex legends and there's probably quite a few more still to come right now we're in a situation where respawn is somewhat behind the gun and they need to take care of a few issues before they can actually get to giving us those major updates that we want like the season 22 map district and for instance the lifeline born update however there are also a ton of other legends that are set to get some very substantial reworks as time goes by and if you've been paying attention to the perk system that was released here in season 20 you'll notice that some of the legends have very very basic perks that almost seem as if they're placeholders for something that respawn could be working with in the future and if you're looking at a legend like lifeline who has been known to be getting a rework for quite some time it would almost be remiss to have your company work a ton of hours on something that you are 100% going to be removing effectively within a three months period. Now, I have a very interesting question when it comes to this very new situation for cosmetics that we're heading into with Apex Legends. Obviously, the push to cross progression, cross play, and all that stuff has made it into the game. And now, finally, we've got Universal Heirlooms, which the community has definitely suggested for quite some time. But I'd like to know how you guys feel about the lack of individual Legend Heirlooms. Do you prefer the idea of Universal items or individual items? Go ahead and take the time right now to leave a comment down below and let me know your opinion on this one. Because honestly, this is an interesting question that I have yet to ask any of the community and I really haven't seen the community debating too much about. So would you actually be interested in more universal items that are released? Maybe, for instance, in a way that is a legend based event and the item is quote unquote a legends heirloom, but anyone can use it. Or would you prefer they go back to the individual heirlooms that only an individual legend can use? Personally, I think I'm kind of leaning towards the idea of the universal items. You know, over the last multitude of seasons, we've seen Respawn pick up the pace a lot when it comes to limited time modes, new additions, and just trying out funky little gimmicks in game. And I really think that the universal items, while not being a gameplay changing item, are going to be one of the best selling points. And I think it would actually be really cool if they retroactively went back and made all of the heirlooms universal so that we could use what we've got on every single legend and i think that's something that potentially respawn could be discussing internally but considering they probably would figure a way to cons to maybe at least figure it to be a money loss i doubt they're going to do that but i would myself really hope that they do that but of course guys that's about wrapping it up for today's video that's everything we know about the delay in individual heirlooms and what the suggested changes are for legend specific heirlooms in the future but thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing guys and don't forget you won't be able to check out any of the upcoming content in season 21 or beyond if you don't stay safe stay healthy and as always guys have a good one.